channel if you are new welcome 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 and if you are returning you is a loyal one so today we are featuring miss re hannah bates hey hey y'all um, are you here. the one i was doing this you can't see my face i'm also nervous <laughs> i'm very nervous <laughs> about this video but we're gonna do it yes don't troll us mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is lame. You know, relay. You know, you know this happened. You know this happened. But it's fine. It's okay. But we we were courageous enough to talk about it. But disclaimer. Just put my phone on silent because I'm killing them on the ground. Okay, the disclaimer I personally wanted to give out before we start is that we are not in any way, shape, or form condoning this type of behavior, and also. Like right now, king human trafficking. Yeah. Like it's so bad. So we did this like almost ten years ago, almost ten years ago, and it was not like people getting kidnapped and human trafficking was not the way it is right now. So I would not advise this kind of behavior. It's also focus on okay. Cool. So we gonna start a story. We gonna tell you guys about <laughs> this one time we used a couple of niggas. <laughs> I <bet. laughs> I get it. First time yeah, that's about. So we just used a couple of niggas to get us to an event we really wanted to go to. But it's like three stories in one. So yes. where do we start? First, we gotta explain where we were trying to go. Okay. So there was this event that happens once a year. Was it once a year? I don't know. Was, was it? it? Homecoming? Pretoria people, yes. leave a comment. Mm -hmm. How often did homecoming happen? I think it was once. Because it was such a build up to that day. Because, you know... I think we had been wanting to go for, for years. Long time. And then, like, this one year we were like, no, we're going. No matter what! We're going. That was the goal. Yeah. And we really did no matter what. <laughs> but we we did no matter there. what. Okay. So this one event that we wanted to go to, so be minded. It's in Pretoria. We are in Soweto, so it's a distance. So our problem was just getting there and coming back. That's really? all. Mm. We, we had, had a place to sleep. We, we, we had, bought tickets. We had our own food, our own drinks. Like we didn't rely on anyone. We yeah. just needed to go there and come back. So basically, we used them for transport. Basically, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> like we just needed someone to take us there and someone to bring us back to Soweto. Mm -hmm. So okay, my side of the story is. <laughs> We bought tickets before I get. I know why you laughing, but no. Before I get there, we bought tickets and we were like, okay. And then we're gonna get into the story why I fainted, but I fainted. Thread. <laughs> I fainted. It's not funny. But I fainted at race, and I was writing that day. We were writing business law. I remember like yesterday, <laughs> and we said this was almost ten years ago. Mm -hmm. But we were writing business law. And I fainted that morning and then whatever I went to the doctor and the doctor was like you are good everything is fine so I'm gonna refer you to the physician so I, he referred me to the physician and then I can't remember why but I was home I don't know if you went home yeah to I went go home. see the physician I think okay yeah so I went home and I went to the physician and the physician was like I'm gonna admit you because we don't know what's wrong so he admitted me oh he was like I'm gonna admit you like this weekend, <laughs> this week, I was like, no, 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 no. We have things to do. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, no. Homecoming. So in my head, I'm like homecoming. So I had to think fast. And my mom was next to me. So I was like, no, I'm writing. So you can't admit me this, the next week. I think something like that. I was like, no, you can't admit me then. And he's like, okay, when? So I told him when, and okay, fine, shop. So I went back to Joburg. Mm -hmm. My parents took me back to Joburg, and. That's where the mess starts. That's where the mess starts. Now, we need to explain how these niggas came about. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> all of them. And it's a couple. It's not, not like a group of friends no. that know each other. It's, you know, random individuals from different walks of life. But to start with, who are we going to start with? I think I'll start with my nigga. <laughs> yeah, two niggas. <laughs> one. Who's the one? Oh, yes, I had two niggas that were going to make this happen for us, okay? 
So the first one, let's well, see how we met. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna go into. Okay, let me tell you how I met, how we met this group of niggas. So one day in our lives, we wanted to go to Chuck Ballsy. Mm, I, I think. Know. Know. Yeah, this could make a difference. Yeah, that's actually like. Okay. We look much better. We, we were too bright. Sorry about that. Okay. But yeah. So, uh, so this is related to another event that we were trying to get go to, but we never really ended up there. There was there was a YFM event at Chafpozi. I remember I was so excited to, <laughs> to go there. And you know, guys, we didn't live in times of Uber. Yeah, Uber was. Not Maybe there. I don't know. I feel like Uber was there, but it wasn't really. No, it was not no, there. We would have known. Uber was we would have known. We would have used. Uber. We would have used Uber. So there was no Uber at that time. If you take a taxi, you know, meter taxi was not an option. I don't think there were meter taxis available. No. We do not have money. Also, right? Yes. Like, like so, we had our pocket money. Yeah. But we don't have. We were not rich people, so we didn't have like you. Yeah. So we. Took a taxi to Chafpozi. Don't ask us how we don't came come back. That's not the point of the story here. Yeah? <laughs> but we took a taxi to Chafpozi. Yeah. And before we even got there, ooh, we met these nice guys. Do you remember Sweet. how we met them? Yes. <laughs> we were walking to get a taxi, or we were in the way to walking towards Chafpozi. We got a taxi that dropped us off. Not. At the side of and Chapo. this happened twice when we went to Groom. <laughs> we took a taxi to Deep Soweto and the taxi took, dropped us off at the wrong place and it was both mm, Chafpozi. Mm. So they were from where we stayed, because we stayed in Omonde, which is like just, just outside. outside of Soweto. Like, like, people consider it as Soweto, I don't know. But from Omonde to Deep Soweto, like proper, where, where's Chafpozi game? Orlando. Orlando. Mm. Orlando West, right? Is it West? I don't know. That one. So there's no taxi that goes directly. So we had to take a taxi to like Orlando Gai Gai. And then we had to walk where this man dropped us off. Yeah. So as we walk, we just got off distance. No man, the story. I remember <laughs> I remember you talking to the taxi driver <laughs> about something. And then Apu and I are busy with these two guys. And then you're like so what did I do? <laughs> like, you were so confused. I was trying to shouting at you because I think we were trying to take another taxi going that way. Yeah. Because it was quite a bit of a walk. So I think we were trying to take another taxi going that way. <laughs> and you were talking to the taxi driver. And then this nigga stopped randomly and he's like, yo, what up, we lady? We were fire. We were okay. fire as hell. Okay. Yeah, so this guy pulled up and, you know, he's like, ladies, where you going? It was the taxi dropped us very far. Yeah, okay, it was far. It was far. Yeah. So we were like, no, we're going to Chaff Posey. Okay, we got in. And you know, they drove us to Chaff Posey. We mm. got there and then they were like, well, what are you guys doing after Chaff Posey? And we didn't have a plan. Yeah. And then the, the driver, he was the one doing the talking. The driver was like, there was there three. Were two. No, at that time, there was two. At the time, there was two. Yeah. This story is sort of a blurish. It's, it's very blurry, guys. But we're gonna make it through. Got to Chef Posey, and the guy was like, Ladies, why don't y'all do something more, you know, calm? You now, these are grown people. <laughs> we were what, 20? 19, 20? 20. We were still 19. We had it. was. Uh, no, it was. It was 20. It was 19. It was 20. It was, 20. It was 19 16. turning 20. Yes. So we were turning 20. Okay, maybe you were 20. And, um,. I was 19, guys, oh because I'm tired of this age thing. <laughs> I'm so tired of this age thing. I was young. <laughs> I was 19. And these are grown-ups. These are people that work. So they're like, no, man. And then, you know, ish, these guys, so they're like, no. It's the hustle and the bustle. Mm. Why don't it's we go do something you. more? Now, well, all we want is goof, goof. We were ready. Then we were like, where okay. do you want to go? Huh? We went. We went to... Monte Casino. That's <laughs> where we ended up from planning Monty, to go to Chef Posey. To Monte Casino. We ended up in Monte Casino. What can you do? Go Monte Casino. That's like doof doof. Nothing. Do like, do then much. they took us where to eat. Do you know? Do you remember? Did we not go to Honeycrew the same night? We did. We, uh -huh. Did we? Oh! Did we go to Honeycrew? The same night. Did we? We did. We went to that dodgy ass place. That's where we got food. And, and they had to pry. KFC? There was another night. It wasn't the same night. I think we went to because like there was this fancy restaurant that we wanted to go to, mm -hmm. and more, more, more Monte Casino. But then they were like, no, that looks expensive. 
especially that other one the one that liked me he was stingy as fuck <laughs> so he was like no we can't go there it's expensive mm -hmm. and we were just like okay whatever and then they were like okay let's go to kfc so we went to kfc but i think it was closing or something and then we didn't end up eating then we went to honeydew oh okay i don't remember this kfc part and yeah, like, we took a, lot, a couple of pictures because I had never been to Monte Cassino, mm -hmm. so it looked. It was also my first time, really. Mm. Yeah. So it was really pretty, but like it wasn't what we prepared yeah. for, you know. So yeah, we, we were like in all stars, like we were. We ready. were ready to go. <laughs> like, hey, we went to Monte to Honeydew. They took us to this dodgy ass place. Is that Honeydew? Is it Cosmo or what? Cosmo City, but the place we bought meat was Honeydew. It was the rough side of Honeydew because yeah, that's what too. they said. Yeah, so yeah, the Honeydew does have really really nice places. Yeah. but that was like, oh guys, it was scary shame. Like, it was, it was not like Garcia normal. It was. It was dodgy, man. Ooh, it was very dodgy. Like that guy literally was like, "Stay close to me." Yeah, they no, held like they held our hand. Don't, don't look at like you know, just stay here. Like they wanted to make sure that they always see us where we go. That's how dodgy it was. Oh yeah, I remember now. Mm -hmm. What's talking about? Oh yeah, that place was dodgy. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about where we went to Groove, but this was the second encounter. Yeah, that was Platinum oh. Lounge. Oh. They took us to Platinum Lounge. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I guess. They took us to Platinum Lounge. Okay, so that's how uh, we met those, those guys. guys. Okay, so we'll call them niggas A. Group A? Group A. This group A. That's group A. Right? So remember, YFM event, Chuck Posey ended up in Monty, ended up in Honeydew. That's that. Mm. <sighs> then group B was still Ria's people. Uh uh. That was your people. No, no, no. Uh, we, we, okay, this is what happened. Group B. <laughs> Two people, yes, yeah, yes. two so people. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. So she was vibing with the nigga, <laughs> and oh. then he's from Pretoria, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you like told him that you, I think we were like, Are you going to homecoming? And yes, <laughs> and like, so we were friends. Yeah. I really used this. Well, we're not friends, he was trying to, you know, not be a friend, but <laughs> somewhat. And I was telling him that, you know, we, 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 play, we bought tickets. We, I told him we bought tickets. We want to go to homecoming. He was like, what? My niggas are going to homecoming. I'm like, what? I'm like, okay. That's going to work. But the complicated part is that he's not going, but his niggas are going. Mm -hmm. And we know him. So that's just like. Okay. So keep just keep it together. Ne? Yeah. So that's group, group B. B. <laughs> it's this guy. Yes. That was like, okay, no, I'll get my, my niggas to go with you guys. So listen, the, the logistics, we live in Joburg South. We need to get to Pretoria because Group B is meeting in Pretoria, but homecoming is in Centurion. Mm -hmm. So we needed to go to Pretoria so we can meet with Group B's people and then move to Centurion. Ne? Mm -hmm. And Am went home for the weekend. Yes. So she was coming from with her friends going to homecoming. homecoming. So I'm was sort of so it was just the two of us mm -hmm. doing these experiments. <laughs> then with group C. Oh this is our coming there. Oh, yeah you so gotta explain group C <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk about those stories. Okay so I'll talk about it for you. <laughs> and this is messed up. So I was another was, group she said, what? This was group C. Yeah group C. Group C now which is not really a group. group. It's a person, but person C. I met him. Okay, I was going through some things in my life, and we went to Zone Six venue. That like Zone Six was our playground. This is where we, like we had the best times of our lives. Okay, so we went to go to Zone Six, and then I was cute, and a couple of niggas, like a couple of niggas, asked for my number that evening, and I gave them because, like I said, I was going through shit, and I didn't care, so I was just like. You take a number, you take a number, you take a number. I was just like, doing it to, but ended up like, there was two people that remembered what happened the day before and they actually like called. So, or that I actually wanted to talk to. The others I ignored because mm -hmm. some of them, oh, three, I lied. <gasps> you know who number three is? Let me show you him on Instagram. Um, but I don't talk to him anymore. But mm -hmm. we follow each other on Instagram. So, okay, okay, person C, he was like, he called me the next day, and can I can this is like, we can't say his name on here because he's so famous. He 
his name, his real name is not even in there. But you don't remember him. Mm. Rhea was a gone girl that day. <laughs> what? Yeah, you were a girl. Oh! <laughs> Rhea kept going to the bar and getting gay. Like, She'd go to the bar and people would just offer to buy her drinks. And they'd write and she'd like, okay, give me a Jaeger bar. So, she doesn't remember anything from that night. But, person C. Yeah, it was lit. It was really nice. Yes. But then the album launched on this. Yeah, man. DJ Clock. Clock. What? Style. It was fire. Not the Beatles. What's that other game? Okay, I don't remember it, but it was that song. Yeah, there was a song that a specific song that took us to the launch, mm -hmm. like we were like we need to go. So hey, I we need to back and what? I thought we were going to conclude that that group C, but calls back yes. Uh, he called. Oh uh, yeah, I don't have to tell the whole story, right? Cause I don't want to talk about. <laughs> okay, but no, I have to talk about why. Like I was not interested in this. So he he calls back, okay, fine, he's like, I wanna take you out on a date. Cool. I have to shut. Like he was of age. Like he was he was older, he was working, but he wasn't like old. So I was like, okay, cool, you know. It was a Friday night, I get killed and we were busy doing someone's hair. We were doing your hair. Or Amu's hair. It was Amu's hair. Okay, we were busy braiding Amu because we used to braid each other guys. Time mm -hmm. to tap. So hi, Shab they come. This nigga comes. In this old no. ass, aren't you gonna tell what he came to do? He came to fetch me. For what? I said the date. We were going on a oh, date. Okay. So we were going on a date, and he came to fetch me. But he came with two niggas. First of all, in a van, a white van. You know the construction vans, but an old beat up construction van. No, I feel like when you say construction van, they have you, you y'all gonna think it's this big van. No, it's not big. It's you know like those TV. Nissans, you know those little cars on the freeway that are always <laughs> overloaded with like a lot of stuff, but That's it's like rude. this small. It's not a little car. No, I said 1400. <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was one of those small bikies. It wasn't, yeah. a, was it a bikey? I mean, it was a bikey. It but, was those, but it's because they're always overloaded like on the freeway, like they do the most. <laughs> It was really small. It was a. It was a 1400. <laughs> like, I don't want you guys to think it really small and think it's a 1400. It's a little bit bigger than a 1400, but it was small. And in a buggy, you know, it's the driver's seat. And if you're lucky, two passengers. He came, Bali three. So the car's already <laughs> full. Like, where am I going? And we're going on a date. I don't understand how this is gonna work. So he comes and he comes in. Do we have, do I have to open? Yeah, we um, freshly those days. So the thing is, this guy he came with this bucky, which had two two seats, three with the middle, like if you could sit in the middle. Yeah. And when I remember this very well, he drove in and there was two of them, right? So one of the friends had answered the phone outside the gate. Outside the gate. Race. So we thought there's two people, so which means this middle seat is for me. Imagine. <laughs> and then the third person comes in, I'm like, how? How is this gonna work? Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's literally what happened and I was like, you don't take me seriously. What is about <laughs> to happen? Like, what are we gonna do? Where are these people gonna go that you came with? Where am I gonna sit? Like, what is happening? Are they gonna drop us off? And then, what is happening? But his car was getting fixed or something, so that was what he could do. So I was like, no, you know what? Turn back with your friends and I wrote him off because I don't play. I was like, I'm done. Don't call me. And I, I did. I really did. But this is person C. Mm -hmm. So now it's the day of <coughs> homecoming. We got tickets. We're not sure how we're gonna get there. Yeah, but we know we're gonna get there. Mm. We have to get there. We bought tickets. Mm -hmm. Spend money. So, so person A, person A was a bit. You, you know, he's very down to earth and stuff. So mm. he went for a charity, whatnot drive. So there was this charity drive where they all uh, drive to a specific mm. home and they help. It was a whole drive. Convoy thing. Convoy thing, mm -hmm. right? So he's like, we are going to Pretoria mm -hmm. uh, to do that, but we leave very early in the morning. I'm mm -hmm. sure it was dark that day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we woke up. Mm -hmm. So now this is this is the day of homecoming, right? This guy said, I can I can pick you guys up and then we'll convoy, and then I'll drop you guys in Pretoria. We were like, good shot. What time was it? In the a.m. It was six. It was too early for us to even dress Not up and look nice. 
It was six. Yeah, six so now, weekend. yes, this is a mission to get to homecoming now. You must look it was too early. Cut. I, I can't can see. see. You can't see. I can't see. It's 23. Okay, I still have seven minutes. Oh, six minutes. Okay. So, mission number one. We got transport to get to Pretoria with group A. So, it was too early for us to look fancy in the morning. So, we packed up our nice clothes and then we wore our tracksuits and person A fetched us. It was a long drive, okay? That long. drive was long because they were convoying, yeah. they were stopping. I was, I, was whew. I feel like we went to Free State and back. It was so long. long. Like, I feel like we went to at least Val. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely don't know where we went. But we drove and drove and we stopped at like countless numbers of garages mm. and we pick up a group and join the convoy. Then we go to another garage or another what one <laughs> next group. And these people all drive like the same brand of mm. car. Like they were so yeah. That's so it's cool. It's it was really pretty, like mm. oh my gosh, beautiful, amazing. But wow. From six we've been <laughs> sitting. Imagine the time we woke up to bath. Because we had to bath. I get it. Eventually we arrived yeah. in Pretoria. In Pretoria. So Group A did their job. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> jumped off very fast. And then that's where Amu met us at mm. McDonald's. Mm. So, so we got to Group B. Group B. So when we go, when we get to Group B, we are there waiting. Like imagine we were freaking nuts. <laughs> this is insane. Who goes to meet people they don't know and trust them with their <laughs> whole lives like now thinking about it i'm just like so we went to a place to a meet up with people we don't know because the person we know was not there was not there that is insane don't do that but anyway we did it but luckily when we got there these are all people that i know so i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god we're safe we're safe we're safe we're safe this is great nice job we chilled we bought ate. food. Mm -hmm. We ate. It was a long trip. Got I'm ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. We changed. Mm -hmm. We went to the bathroom. We did a quick change. Transformation. They were calling us Transformers, the boys. Because <laughs> we came in like track suits. And then we were like, fire. Then I feel like driving to homecoming took another 20 years. We didn't start by homecoming. Where, where did we, go? we started by macro to go back. Oh my god. So that gosh. took another 20 years. Okay, and these guys were stacking. Like, they, it was not like an in and out situation. Like, we were going camping. Okay. We were. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're going camping. Mm -hmm. No, we're not going camping, but that, yeah, that's how stock it we Yeah, were, they bought a lot of alcohol. Okay, so also, I also need alcohol anyway. Mm -hmm. So, also bought, 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 bought alcohol. Then the journey to homecoming began. A convoy. Convoy. Did they split us up? I feel like we were split up. Oh no, so we were in the same car and Amu and her friend were in another car. Mm. Okay, yeah. And when we got to, not even homecoming, when we got to the area where homecoming was happening, the traffic. traffic. So we've been in cars the whole day. Basically we've lived our lives. We spent <laughs> our lives, our homecoming day just in traffic. In traffic. Since 6 a.m. Got to homecoming. Oh, they wanted to chill outside a little bit before going in. <laughs> we was just like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We did not come all the way from the south. Let me tell you. <laughs> Group A or person A was on time. Like when he said six, he meant six, guys. He was on time. So we literally woke up. We left at six. So let's say we woke up at five. Man. For only for us to get to homecoming and chill outside, <laughs> they chilled in a parking lot. They were like, "No, we're not going inside yet. We're chilling." And we now, yeah, they're like, mm -hmm. "We'll go inside later, like when it starts vibing, you know, when the sun goes." But like, they were used to homecoming. Like this was our first yeah, time, so we were all excited. We were like, we wanted to go in and see, like, what's happening. Ah, yeah, okay. We then chilled because we don't want to be rude. To our transport, actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> like this is our <laughs> transport. <laughs> so we were like, okay, fine, we'll chill. So we chill. They bright. Mm -hmm. We ate. I shop after we ate. Then eventually they're like, okay, let's go. 
after a while guys now this the sun is literally setting now it had, mm. and it's not even winter it was like spring eh? it was it was spring it was spring so the sun is setting and we go inside there's a queue i had for a queue we put inside Fishing. then mang mang couldn't get in because ticket and we were just like you know what we're in at this time <laughs> at this point we're like no we're done we were we're like, we went in we, we just, lost them and then we found them again when they like had a set place because oh, they yeah. had camp chairs and all so we were like we were not prepared for that no we were like <laughs> Blankie though. My pink oh, blankie. I remember us taking a blankie. I think we had a blankie. Maybe we took it because it was cold. We were with it there, but we didn't take the whole bag inside. Oh. We left the bag in the car. It was late anyway, guys. So yeah, they set up a place like okay, we're here. We're sitting here. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay. And then we went in Zulat and lived our best life. Time of my life, guys. Literally. Yo. Like, oh, it was nice, guys. Groove in Pretoria is always over there. You know which homecoming was this, guys? It was like the last one or something. Because it was special, because everybody went. I think it was the one where they said it's the last homecoming. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Struggle. Oh, yeah! <laughs> is it? It is! It was that homecoming we went to. Guys, it was lit. <laughs> it was too it lit. It was so lit. <clears throat> So was the hunter's dryer. Yeah. You remember guys, some time back. Oh, okay, oh. this was and this was even before like Twitter was a thing like that. Mm. Ah, so imagine trending without Twitter. It was the hunters, you know hunt the hunters dry girl. Like there was this before in picture trending after the event happened of this girl coming in looking all fire. And then she was, she was on the floor. Because and then they had like hunters dry before and after. Mm. It was that event. That's how lit it was. If you remember, you like that's why we wanted to go. Old, I think it was like the last us. one. Ah, I remember yeah. being like the last one. So that's why we really, really wanted to go. Yeah, so it's that one, and this girl trended all over WhatsApp and BBM because mm -hmm. this was BBM time. <laughs> yeah, so she trended all over BBM and WhatsApp, and she was literally on the floor. Like we said, you did a camp chair, so it was that kind of vibe. It was grass. It was at a stadium, ne? Yeah, it was a stadium. Yeah, it was at a stadium, so... <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> On the floor. But, was oh my time. gosh. But you can't blame her, guys. It was fire. It was, oh, it it was, was so nice. Like, <laughs> like, you couldn't. Even I was probably drunk. <laughs> like, and I don't drink. But I was probably drunk. Or acting drunk. Because it was so nice. Like, it was really nice. It was really nice. Mm. Wanting to go back now. <laughs> I want to go back. Groove, 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 Munati, Munati, Munati. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. It was a battle going home, guys. It like, really it was, was a. It was drama, actually. Like, not good drama. It was. Bad drama. It was bad drama. Like, the night went from great times to, like, awkward night. Mm -hmm. But amongst everything, there was this one guy. And I remember this very well. There was this one guy who was a gentleman out of the entire. Yes, I remember crew. his name. He yes. even said. It's James. Yeah. <laughs> James he was a gentleman out of all his niggas trying stuff and you know trying to do things and uh, all that funny stuff. He was like, "Ladies, where are you going? Let's take you guys home." Mm -hmm. And he literally took us home. He took us so home. So we were at we were trying to leave homecoming for a little bit. At this point now, niggas are drunk, so niggas are hyper. Yeah, they're trying to 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 pull because they didn't pull in at the event. Mm. So now they're like, okay, because they didn't care they, about us. Yeah, because they, they really was, didn't. The the what group guy A? Yes, guy B. Guy, guy B. B was the friend, not trying to be friend friend, but he guaranteed that. Don't worry, like my niggas mm. are really cool. Like they're very friendly. Okay, that was and concern. they were mm. like they were very friendly. They Some were. of them were familiar. Yeah, yeah. you know. It was chilled. End of the night. And it, you know what? It's not even the familiar niggas that were doing this. Yeah, it's, it's so the people who don't know. Yeah, the people that they brought along. It was just like, okay. yes. So that was awkward. Yeah. So things happened. Yes. Fine, sharp. Eventually. This is all happening while we're waiting for everybody together and come back to the car so that the whole convoy can 
start so mm -hmm. we can go home so now our biggest stress at this point is how we're gonna go home so we planned on sleeping at Amu's house yes I was not gonna go home when my parents don't even know I'm in town <laughs> so, I like, uh, no. so we were going to Amu's house this is in damn 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 far north of Pretoria and they I were going the that night did I jump we, we jumped the fence. Mm. Okay, fine. We left. These niggas took us to Pretoria West. I honestly don't know how we got there because I slept. I was tired, guys. I was Ooh. watching the road, girl. I was, I was not, here. I was like, I was, I was asleep. Because I was worried. I was worried about it. I was sitting in the first sleep. I was like, you sitting in the first Yeah. I was checking it out. I'm like, I'm not trying to die tonight. I was I didn't came so late. No, no, are you sleepy? I still fine. Okay, so do you want to sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, keeping him talking. I'm like, oh. uh, no, I was gone. I was tired. Yo, we've been up since five. <laughs> she crashed. I crashed. I slept. <laughs> and it is like these people that drink, they have energy because alcohol gives them energy. So I was naturally me. So I, at that point, I'm tired now. So I slept. And then I woke up at the garage, and we were at the garage. I'm like, what are we doing here? Where are we? We're in Pretoria East, they're debating because they don't want to take us home because Mang Mang's flat. And then a Mang Mang was not, they were supposed to go to Mang Mang's flat and then Mang Mang is not answering the phone anymore. So they're like, okay, where are we going to go now? I'm just like, let's go home. <laughs> Why it's late. Why are we discussing where we're going next? It's late, let's go home. I think we got home at like four. Okay, fine. Eventually, like after the back and forth, the back and forth. James took us home. So James was like, okay, I'm gonna take you guys home. Mm. So nigga took us home. James, can I just say how good James was, guys? He was even abiding by the speed limit. He was <laughs> <laughs> like he's a good boy. Good, he was a good guy. Like he was abiding by the speed limit. He was busy saying, um, the speedometer, hey, must go above 80. Hey, my boy was that like, I mean, Yeah. To the tourist. Mm. But yeah, I remember knowing because I sleep. No, James is a really good person. Shem, I hope he really still is such an amazing person. I lost contact. I had his number, but I lost it because mm -hmm. we change phones so often. But, well, I change numbers very often because, whoo, doji. People are stalkery out here. Doji. You must keep them on their toes. So, yeah, he literally, hey, guys, he <laughs> took us home. Okay, fine. Yeah, we got in, we sleep. This is at four now. We sleep. Yeah, next morning, Amu's mom is like buzzing. She's cooking for us, you know. Nice. We wake up, I we chill, we watch TV. She dishes up, we eat, and you know, Sundays the day goes by so fast. Mm -hmm. So our shoes, we We're wearing white. Oh, stuff, our right? shoes. Our if shoes could tell a story, I think we even. I remember one of us posted them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I think it was, it was you. you. Yeah, I think it was you. Oh, guys, I even have a picture before of, of the picture. that day. Yeah. No, we have, we have pictures, but I archived mine on Instagram. <laughs> because, uh, uh, uh. Okay, mine is not on Instagram, the picture. It's somewhere in my gallery. I have, I had mine on Instagram, <laughs> but I archived them recently. No, no, before we even started talking about doing this video, mm -hmm. I archived them because I was just like, ah, whatever. I don't oh, need them on my timeline anymore. <laughs> I'm going to look for it and show you guys at the end. I'll put it at the end. Of the video, what we look like, shame. Little hot, 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 hot. hot. I'm not hot. I'm not about today. I'm not about ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah. Not hot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not. No, 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 no. We were hot, yeah, back then. Yeah, like back then, like innocent. Yeah. You know, we just trying to live life in varsity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I don't know. I don't remember how this plan came about of person C. But yeah, it came around. He, he called because he was still trying to fix things with her after he ruined that date. That just never happened. You think? Mm -hmm. He called. He called. Oh, did or he call? Did I, call I think we. I think we were like, girl, we, we need to we get need home. To. <laughs> and he was a very sweet guy. Like he's a gentle man. So we no, were not but trying to get some of his. How did he call? How we? How, I'm pretty sure we, I called. But him. why would we think he would? You we just take everybody, of, in such situations, everybody goes through their contact <laughs> list and they're like, who can I call? Who can I call? So I feel like I called him. I feel like you didn't because he's in the south. And if we're in Pretoria, is there any chance you can fetch us? All the way from the south. I think Maybe. you guys were chatting. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe we were chatting. But basically, he was bringing his sister to Bossman Station because she lived around there. So he was bringing her... 
And we were like, well, we can get ourselves to town. <laughs> we can get ourselves to Boston. And then you take us home. And that's what happened. We took a taxi to Pretoria. We took a taxi to Bosman. Mm -mm. We took two taxis. Like, yes, because it's two taxis to get to Bosman. So we got to Bosman, and he was there, and he we got in the car, and I had to regret. Sit in the seat. Yeah, that was course. Course. I regret <laughs> this moment because I had to sit in the front seat, but I didn't. I sat in the back. We all sat in the back. Yeah, I'm very stubborn. Uh -uh. So they literally told me to sit in the front. I was <laughs> like, no. <laughs> and I slept. How am I to join? Like, but I feel so bad till this day. I feel so bad for not sitting in the front. Like I could have sat in the front and slept, but I just didn't want to. I think I was still mad at him for what he did. I was like, you know what? Just make up for your sins and take us home. So who was sitting in the front? No one. <laughs> Because I don't, I remember I wasn't. Yeah, no one. We all sat in the back. Because you guys sat, and then I was like, I'm sitting. I'm not going. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was not having it. She was very upset. I was like, no, I'm sitting in the back. So I literally did, but I feel very bad. I, I should have sat in the front. So that it looked like an Uber. <laughs> you know? Like, that was very, very, very rude of me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm sorry. If you ever watched it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really sorry. That was messed up. But yeah, he took us home. Thank the Lord. Like I said, he was a gentleman, so he didn't try nothing. He took us straight home. He knew where we stay. And I remember the first thing I did was take a bath. Hot bath. Thank you. We were exhausted. We were dirty. Plus, that's the course king. Stay young. Who are guys? It was a mess. Yeah. My god, my goodness, that is what happened. We made it safe. Don't try this at home. Don't, try <laughs> like, don't, don't do, do it. it. <laughs> like, don't. Don't. <laughs> don't do it, guys. Now, in this day and age, uh -uh. do not do it. Mm -hmm. Do not do it. You, you will. Uh -uh, guys. There's just no. too many things that could have gone wrong. Mm. So, definitely. Take this as a video of awareness. We were we made it out. We were very reckless. We just were looking at the end result. Yeah. We were just trying to get to a party. We didn't consider things that may or may not happen. Mm. You know, but we know better now. And should mm -hmm. else. Definitely I agree hundred <gasps> percent. Don't, do don't do it. Don't do it. Please be safe. Please be vigilant. I know like right now, you know, we can't really groove. But when we do go back, be safe. Mm. Don't be reckless. To this day and age, it's a very, very cruel world out there. So very cruel. Be safe. Do best. And yeah, this is advice from your big sisters if there's any youngins in here. Yes. But. Or Uber. Like, there's no reason anymore. Just yeah, Uber. now we're like, what's your yeah. excuse? What's your excuse? Because there's Uber. Uber. You have options. Like, or go with. Why? Oh. Why, why didn't your boyfriend take this <laughs> to come in? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> a, group A. Well, you did in group A. No, <laughs> what are we talking about? Ah! Woo, girl! Who won? Who are you dating? <laughs> Who? The... Which one? Which one? Mr. Webb. Were you, were you dating him? No, girl. I don't think so. Which boyfriend? I don't know. I'm just saying. Whoever you were dating. Aww. I don't know I who you were dating. dating at the time. I was, but... Was I dating? I wasn't dating. I'm sure you were. Mm -hmm. You probably never called it. Yeah, we date pretty normal people. Dated mm -hmm. pretty normal people. But now? Now? You must have met. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. But you're yes. guys. If I'm safe, can be safe. I hope it's. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like it, we'll do more story times because we have stories for days. For days. For days. Spicy stories. Eh? You know, life in Soweto is quite Ex an extreme spot. Mm. It's quite an extreme spot, but yeah, they no. always do. Okay, guys. 
thank you for watching please leave a comment down below tell us your stories your funny stories um or your you know what your story whatever your story mm. and then um give the video a like click on the like button to like the video and click on the subscribe button if you have not already enjoyed the fear movie please and we'll see you guys for i'll see you guys <laughs> in the next we one. will I see always you guys say we. When we, I'm doing a video with other people, we will see you guys. She got that right. We. Bye. -bye. <laughs>